Sup guys here on a new video and this video I'm going to show you how to use a Mac. So if you are a new user to the Mac operating system, I'm going to show you what you need to know about the Mac operating system. I'm going to be showing you the basic things like how to go through your settings, make some changes, how to set up your Mac, how to put your iCloud, how to sign in a lot of things, how to customize your Mac and even more. So if you are a Windows user and now want to switch to Mac, there are a lot of things you need to know because there are differences between the Windows operating system and the Mac operating system. As you all know, there's also differences between the Android operating system and the iOS operating system. So same appears to your computers. Windows serves you as a user and it gives you all you want. Same applies to Mac too, but they just work in different ways. So now I'm going to show you what you need to know if you're a new user to the Mac. And in the next video, we'll be making a video highlighting the best hidden features in Mac OS. And so without further ado, let's dive into it. So here we are, and this is your desktop or home screen. So first things first, you need to sign up your iCloud. To do that, go to settings. So this is settings. After opening settings, so this is my iCloud right here. But you need to go to Apple ID. So after going to Apple ID, you will have option here to sign in your iCloud. So I've already signed in my iCloud and there's no need to sign in again. So after coming here, it will provide you steps on how to sign in your iCloud to your new Mac. So after signing in your iCloud, you will need to organize your computer. We have general right here. So let's open that. So here you got the appearance up here. If you want your computer to be light mode, you can just select this and it automatically turns into light mode. And if you want it to be in dark mode, which I like it the most in dark mode, you leave it here. Or you can just leave it at auto. So it just switches between light and dark mode. But let's leave it as dark mode. That's for me. We have the accent color. So my accent color is multicolor, but you can select to maybe blue and other colors. But I'll just leave it like this. So for example, if I select purple, Whatsoever I'm going to highlight will be purple, as you can see. But I just like to leave it here so that it shows blue color. So we have the sidebar icon size. You can make it medium or large. But I won't like to temper with this. We have scroll bars. These scroll bars are the, is a scroll bar you see right here when scrolling through pages so when does it show automatically based on mouse or trackpad or when scrolling I like mine on when scrolling so that when I'm scrolling I will be seeing the bar right here or you can leave it on always we have click in the scroll bar these options are not very important honestly so just go back to desktop and screen saver right here so this is a place where you put a screensaver or change your wallpaper. Even though you can change your wallpaper from the photos, but you can just change it here also. So after just selecting this, it automatically switches to a new wallpaper as you can see. So that's for the desktop and screensaver. Next in here we have dock and menu bar. So this have to do with these items these icons you are seeing down here these are your applications icons so if you want them to be bigger you can select so if you want them to be bigger you can increase this and it's going to be bigger the icons are going to be bigger but if you want them to be smaller as i like mine like this i'll just leave it like this so we have magnification you can yours might be off so what this does is when just scrolling, you will want to see your icons being magnified. For example, just toggle this on and you see what I mean. It's just a very smooth looking magnification. And also you can increase this to the max or minimum or just in the middle, something like that. Where do you want your icons to show? Bottom of the screen, left like this, as you can see, or right. So I like mine at the bottom and also minimize windows using the genie effect. So when you just minimize windows, just see how it works. 
So that's the Gini effect, how it minimizes and opens. Yeah. So these are just settings for your dock. This is the dock, and up here is the menu bar. So you can go here if you want to see your Wi Fi right here. For example, you can say, for example, you can then turn this on and it shows in your control center right here. So here is the Bluetooth also. Once you turn it off, you won't see it up here, but once you turn it on, you'll see it. So, same applies to all this. The sound, turn it on, you will be able to see your volume right here, and then turn it off. You won't see it there. So, you are going to put your settings according to how you want it to be. But most importantly, all the things you need are here in the control center the Wi Fi, Bluetooth, AirDrop, the keyboard brightness, camera. The do not disturb and display brightness, the sound, your percentage, and all that. You also have accessibility shortcuts, battery, and other things down here. So, here we have Siri. We all know what Siri does. Here we have the spotlight, not very important. Language and region, you are going to set it according to what language and region you are. You have notifications, you are going to set notifications from the applications you want and the sound and everything internet accounts not very important uh, you might have to do this yourself just sign ups and logins we have user and groups users and groups I'm sorry once you open this you'll be able to edit this name maybe to something you want let's say David's MacBook Pro or David's Mac or David's MacBook Air so you'll also be able to edit this image right here that displays when you want to unlock your computer so that's just it for here and you can also change your password right here or put a new password if your computer doesn't have one you can set up a password right here and also if your computer comes with the touch ID you can set it up right here so that's all for the user and groups we have accessibilities these are more options for your computer for the display, you can toggle things off. For the display, you can toggle things on, reduce motion, increase contrast, all sorts of things like that. But to me, it's not very important, honestly. So, so, so that's what the accessibility is all about. You can come around, check the settings. But make sure you know what you're doing before you mess things up. So this is the screen time. We have extensions and security and privacy. So the security and privacy basically deals with the information your computer shares with some other applications or third party application. We have software update this way to update your computer to the latest version. As you can see, my computer is on the version 11.7 Mac OS Big Sur. So this is the network Bluetooth sound. If you want to mess around with your microphones, the computer sound, printers and scanners, keyboard. If you want to make some changes to your keyboard, like turning on the backlit after five seconds or how many seconds you want it, there are a lot of options right here. But I just like to leave mine as default. We have the trackpad. It's very important. So you can increase or reduce the tracking speed. As you can see, the tracking speed is very slow. And this is very annoying to me. So I like to keep it like this. I like everything fast. So, and also, you can, you, can, you have more gestures here. So, for example, you can use your two fingers. To scroll between pages you can use your three fingers maybe to change a window and a lot of other things so that's basically what the trackpad does you can also use your maybe four fingers for another feature or function so we have the display right here the mouse is not important except if you're using an external mouse like the Apple mouse Apple Magic Mouse or something like that. So we have the display right here. So the display 
you can increase brightness or reduce brightness or do so that's basically it for the settings so first things first so secondly if you want to see about your computer or turn on so second thing if you want to shut down or start your computer go up here just tap on this Apple logo you can go down here to start your computer shut down lock screen maybe first quit open applications or you can see about your computer so once you tap this it opens all the specifications and everything about your computer you can see the version you're having and other computer specifications the display storage support services and all that and not just that this is the finder so the finder is basically where everything is once you open the finder you'll be able to go to your airdrop documents downloads and other folders so i can't clearly remember what is called on the windows but it but like it's called file management or file manager i can't clearly recall but this just like the other one on the windows where you can see your documents and downloads so this one right here is the launch pad once you tap on this you'll be able to see all your applications that are downloaded on your computer so this is the launch pad right and these icons right here are the applications you use most recently so you can just drag an application maybe let's say the apple tv and then put it here if you like to see it there so it's very simple and you can remove that and you can and you can remove an application from the dock if you don't want to see it there it's very simple so safari as you all know is the search engine for apple both on the ios and the mac os so if you want to use google you can just go to safari and then search whatsoever you want to search it's simple and here we got the app store so once you have signed in your icloud or created an icloud with your device with your computer it automatically signs into your app store so this app store is just like a play store or microsoft store on the windows you'll be able to download all your applications such as microsoft word final cut pro whatsapp and a lot of other applications so this is facetime and this is your photos where all your images are stored these are applications i've downloaded these are notes podcast settings and this is your trash can so that's basically it so let's look at the finder once again so this finder as i said earlier this are the these are your most recent document the one you worked on or the one you opened recently and this folder consists of all your documents and this one consists of all your um other downloads other files so let's say for the documents for example once you highlight one file you can go here for more options so here you can open the file you can delete the file you can rename it you can duplicate and maybe open a new folder so if you want to share it just go up here and you can share it through airdrop notes messages mail and even maybe whatsapp and also you can change the layout for this if you want the icons to be displayed or if you want it as a list or howsoever you want it to be so it's very simple and here if you want to search for a file you are looking for if you don't want to go through your files if you have thousands of files this is airdrop airdrop most of you people know what airdrop is but if you are new to the mark with airdrop you can just send a file over to another apple device maybe an iphone maybe another mac or any other apple device so it's very simple so that's basically it that's what you need to know if you are a new user to the Mac. There will be more videos showing you some hidden features and more complex features of the Mac. But these are the basics you need to know as a new Mac user. That's just it. So that's all for the video. These are things you need to know as a new Mac user. I'll make another video showcasing the hidden features in Mac OS. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss. 
And that's all for the video. Until then, I'm going to meet you guys in the next one. Peace.